Have you ever had that dream where you're completely naked in front of hundreds of people on stage? Let me tell you a story. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so when I graduated school, I decided the best place to go was Silicon Valley, right? Everyone see, who, who's seen the social network here? Show of hands. All right, so Zuckerberg goes to Silicon Valley. They get a pool, it's parties, it's crazy, it's awesome. And I'm thinking to myself, that's me, right? I, I gotta do that. So uh, on the plane, I'm, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little bit excited. Um, and when I land, I get to this area, it's a really nice area in San Francisco called the Tenderloin. And um, <laughs> my room, is, is a, it, it's about the size of a broom closet <laughs> and it's bunk beds. It's literally 80 square feet. I counted it one time I was bored. And I'm sitting in my bed uh, and I open my laptop and I'm thinking, what do I do now, right? I didn't come here with a job. I didn't come here with, with anything. And in that moment, I was kind of like, what, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? It took me a, about a, a day or two to adjust, like a cat sniffing around the area. I went to the grocery store. I went you know, to a couple different places. And then I started getting involved in events. Um, I went to this you know, very casual mixer. And then I got invited to this entrepreneurial thing. And next thing I knew, I was at a party where there were acrobats falling from the ceiling. There was ice luges, venture capitalists that were sharing drinks with me, buying drinks for me. And I was thinking to myself, I made it. Like, the social network is here, man. We made it. We did it. Um, from that point on, with the confidence I had in that moment, it was easy. It was really easy to find a startup company that I wanted to join and help them to go to the next level, to launch and become a big company. And I met this guy from Hungary. <laughs> and I met him at a Drew Houston talk. Drew Houston is the CEO of Dropbox. Do you guys know what Dropbox is? OK, so Drew Houston is the CEO of Dropbox. And this Hungarian guy walks up to Drew Houston after he does his talk in front of thousands of people. And the Hungarian guy says, Yo, so you want to invest in my company? It's a 50K, small investment, come on. <laughs> and, and, and Drew Houston says, I appreciate the hustle. The CEO of Dropbox says, I appreciate the hustle. And I say to myself, like, whatever this guy has, whatever tenacity he has, it's got to be good. So I ask him, and I want to check out the technology. Imagine being able to sit in your home, view a property in China with a real estate agent in New York, and you can change all textures, the walls, the materials, everything, right? That's what we were building. That's what he was building, I should say. And it wasn't a couple days later until we were building it. I was on board, and I was going to help him to raise funds and make this a real company. Um, so he convinced me that if you want to raise funds for a company, the best place to go is the bars where the venture capitalists drink. And we went there, and li I'm not exaggerating, within a week, we had a $200,000 investment. And I was thinking to myself, this is unreal. I was, I was actually freaking out. Um, so we've got all this money, and we decided, like, what do we do with this, right? We had to do a big public unveiling. What other ways there to do it, right? You got to get a big event, you got to get your name in the lights, and you got to get everybody to know you. So for the next three months, that's what we did. We organized everybody in the real estate community um, and also in the technology community. Invited panelists, invited speakers, invited presenters, and prepared for three months. So fast forward now, night before the event. We're all sitting together and we're having this, this discussion. And I'm the one who's going to be on stage speaking because, of course, I hate public speaking, right? It's just not my thing that I do, so. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 I tell them, we have to make a video. We have to record the technology. Because every major startup that I've seen, we've been there for three months, I've seen a ton of demos. Uh, who knows what Y Combinator is? OK, so I'll skip that. Um, every, major every major technology that's shown is a video. Because the technology breaks. And the CEO, with his uh, Hungarian accent, says to me, <clears throat> I am the CEO. When I say we go, we go. I am the captain. You are the army. Let's go. Technology. <laughs> Technology. All right, great. We go. Technology. <laughs> Day of the event. It's a madhouse. There's people coming in, setups happening. We've got the wine sponsor coming. We've got food coming in. The interns are running around. We've got, yeah, we got interns from the call. I don't know how that happened. Um, we're not even a company. We've got interns. And, uh, 
and <laughs> and uh, the presenters are getting ready. And where's the projector? Nobody can find the projector. Okay, just keep going. We got more setup to do. More set. An hour. To, there's still no projector. Half an hour before the event, we find the projector, and I'm like, "Thank you, God. All right, let's do this." We set it up. We test for like 30 seconds, and lo and behold, of course, the the great people that come half an hour before the event start to arrive. You can't have a big unveiling if people are seeing it before it happens. So we stopped testing. That was it. And the presenters are going, and, uh, uh, and they're doing great, and the booths are happening, and they're doing great, and everything's going smoothly. And I'm thinking to myself, we got this, right? We got this. is going to work. The technology is going to work. We've got this. Right before I go on stage, I'm like, I don't think we had this. <laughs> I had that moment where it's like, I really hope this works, but I, I, my gut tells me it may not. It may not. But I went up anyways. So I'm looking out on stage, right? And I get up there, and I start with a, with a couple jokes. So I start out with a joke about uh, Daniel in, in Hungary. And I say, hey, Daniel, what are you doing over there? It's like 4 in the morning. He's like, yeah, 4 in the morning, we're partying. And everyone like laughs. It's the stupidest joke, but it worked. <laughs> and, and we're starting to flow. We're starting to go, right? The audience is kind of listening to what I'm saying. I'm not showing the technology. I'm talking about it. I'm warming up. I'm getting people excited for it. And there comes this moment. That's that Steve Jobs moment, that lean in moment, where they're like, it's gonna happen. So I go, I crouch down in front of the laptop, and I'm like, this is the technology. And I go to start moving the guy, and it doesn't work. And I'm like, mm. and people in the audience are like, mm. <laughs> they're, they're feeling mm, for me, you know? They're feeling that uncomfortable, that pit in their stomach, and it's awkward. And I'm just trying to talk, I'm like, oh, if it were to work, the guy would be moving like this. And I'm thinking in my head, I've spent three months, we've spent three months doing this. Three months of our life preparing for this event. And I was frustrated. I was so upset, I was frustrated with the CEO. Why did he, why did he tell us to do this? Why did he guide us this way? This was not the right way to go. And with my colleagues. Why didn't we support each other? Why didn't we say, this is how we have to do it? But most of all, I was frustrated with myself because I had nobody else to blame for not taking that initiative, for not sticking with my gut, for not sticking with my guns. So I have to ask you again, have you ever felt naked on a stage in front of 150 people? I have. But as you can see, there's no damn technology here tonight. <laughs> and I have, and I've learned that it is worth it 100% of the time. I would get back on that stage 100 out of 100 times. But I would trust my gut. I would stick with what I know is true. I would fight for what I believe in because it's the best for the business and it's best for my personal integrity as well. And so here I am tonight. With Uber, I'm incredibly grateful to be here because my gut told me to, to continue to reach out after a very dear friend, uh, my best friend Johnny's here tonight, um, told me to, to reach out. And I've never looked back since. So really quick, Uber is an awesome, um, should I do it or no? <laughs> I'll, you'll, you'll find out about it later. If you guys want to find out about Uber, it's a really classy service. Come talk to me. I'll give you, I'll give you, all right, here we go. Imagine being able to take out your phone. <laughs> you hit one button, boom. And the Escalade rolls and picks you up. Right? You see the car coming towards you on the app. You don't ever have to like, worry about money. It's all taken care of. You get in the car, you get out the car. And most importantly, you're a boss. <laughs> That's Uber. So if you guys want to try it out, we may, if you have a nice conversation with me, be able to get a free ride for 20 bucks. So come hit me up. Thank you, everybody. Yeah.